All right, in the previous video, I, I showed you how to set up an input screen so the user can enter information. And when they click Submit, we want to take whatever they've entered and basically you know, put it into the Google Sheet that we've set up to be our database. So the user is going to be able to add a new row here um, as opposed to you, know, you as, the, as the coder or administrator could go in here and, and add information. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and code this submit button to make that happen. I'm going to go to the blocks and let me just kind of put this spreadsheet away. So in these blocks, what I want to do is is handle submit button dot click. Okay, and when they click submit, I want to grab all the stuff they've typed and add a new row in my spreadsheet. And this data sources component, it's basically mapped, you know, maps from the spreadsheet to the app. And there's a block called create row. Okay, so I can grab that create row. Thunkable Smart, it it actually, you know, once you've done the mapping to a spreadsheet, it knows the names of all the columns. And so it's basically saying, you know, you need to provide this data and then you can create a new row in the spreadsheet or your app can create a new row in the spreadsheet. Okay, um, I can plug these in pretty easily. The name text input, of course, is you know, whatever the user's typed in for the name, I'm gonna put that in as the name value. And then I could just kind of command C and copy this guy four times. And, you know, for the pick value, whatever the user's typed in for the, whoops, sorry, for the image URL. Okay. And then for the description, of course, whatever they've typed in for the description, that text input, and then same for, for the lat and the long. Okay, so pretty straightforward. You know, we're grabbing these text inputs, you know, which is, you know, the text property is whatever the user has entered in those, in those fields, and we're sticking them in um, to the spreadsheet as we create this, this row. You know, one thing I want to do is add an if statement, and I just want to just be careful, like if the user hasn't entered anything in the text inputs, but they click submit, I want to check for that and not do anything if, if that's the case. Okay, so I'm only going to create the row in in certain instances. And really what it's going to be is um, if this, you know, I could check actually all these text inputs, but I'll just check the name. So let's make sure they've at least put in a name and I'm going to grab um, the text and I just want to see if that's empty. And if I go to the text folder, there is this is empty block. And so I'm going to kind of say, you know, um, you know, if the name text input is empty, add this row. But really, I want the opposite of that. If it's not empty, then okay, cool. They've entered some information. I can go ahead and put some stuff into my spreadsheet. So I'm going to grab a not. And really, what I want to ask is, is that question. If if my name, if what the users entered, the name, is not empty, let's assume they're all entered, and I can add this to my spreadsheet. Okay, let's let's test this out. And you know, I don't know. This is a fake class, right? So I want to go over to my spreadsheet though, and what I want to do is add a new student. So I'm going to click plus, and I'm going to I, I need to enter. You know, now I'm the user. I'm a a test user, right? But the user is going to be able to enter new information. And let's just say I want to add uh, Kamala Harris to my class. Okay, that would be my dream dream student. Okay, so I'm going to come over. You know, for, well, actually on my on my tablet. I'm going to go to Chrome, and I've already searched for a picture for, of Kamala. On your tablet, you can just kind of hold the picture down and do copy image, and that actually grabs the URL for the image. Uh, if I go back to my app now, and I'm just going to touch down on the enter image URL. Oh, there we go. Oops, sorry. And I just want to paste. And that's actually the URL of her picture. And then I'm just going to type in, um, you know, I'll just type in a one word name for Kamala. And of course, she's the vice president of the US is, is her description <laughs> for now. Um, and I'm, I'll just leave her uh, latitude and longitude um, blank. I could put in, you know, the, the location of Washington, DC or whatever. Okay, touch submit and let's hope this adds something to our spreadsheet. Okay, right now I, I should also make it 
you know, where when I get done with this thing, I jump back to the home screen. But right now I didn't do that. Uh, but let's go back on the computer. I think my spreadsheet should have been updated and it was, okay. So the, the stuff the user on my device just entered got input into my spreadsheet, which is cool, okay. So if I live test again, so let's live test and get back to the home screen. And wow, voila, okay, the user has just entered new data. Kamala is now in our spreadsheet. And in fact, she shows up on the homepage. And if I choose her um, from the homepage, it, it brings her into my, um, on this information screen. Okay, cool. So well, what I've showed you is, you know, there's, you know, as a programmer administrator, you can enter stuff directly in your spreadsheet, you know, the Google Sheet, which is serving as your database. Uh, but you can also make a screen where the user can enter information in these text inputs. And then what your app does is actually create a new row in your spreadsheet. And, and that's all you got to do.